Today, holster options for the Taurus 856. Let's take a look. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, a little while ago, we took a look at the Taurus 856. We did some initial impressions, and then we did a few upgrades that we got from Brownells. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at two popular holster choices for the 856 from Sticky Holsters and Hole Guns. First, before we get started, the usual couple of notes. Number one, you can find links to everything that I talk about in my videos on the blog links page, which is linked somewhere in the description of every video. Number two, the firearm that we're looking at today has been safety checked and, as you can see, is empty. Number three, last but not least, if you like what I'm doing here, consider throwing me a super thanks. From the guns, to the holsters, to the ammo, to the optics, to everything you see on the channel, everything's paid for out of my own pocket, so any little bit always helps. With so many holster options out there, picking a holster can quickly get overwhelming for someone that's new to firearms or new to carrying. I remember when I first started, the thought of spending like 100 bucks or more on a holster was just horrifying, and I ended up buying four or five cheap holsters on Amazon, and none of them really did what I was looking for. I ended up spending, in all total, more than that $100, and I ended up with a relatively cheap holster at the end of the day. Fast forward six years, and I've got a very different view of holsters, so I wanted to kind of redo that same like affordable Amazon holster search, but with the benefit of six years of knowledge to hopefully save some of the new people out there some time and some money. So what we have here today are two budget holsters for the Taurus 856. These are both readily available on Amazon, and both cost right around 20 bucks. This is the Whole Guns Kydex holster, and this is the Sticky Holsters MD5 Medium. As usual, I will take you through each holster and show you some of the features and then talk through the things that I like and things that I don't like about each of them. So the first holster we have is from Whole Guns, and this is their Inside the Waistband Kydex Black Sweat Guard holster. This is made of Kydex, as the name implies. Uh, this is a good material to make a holster out of because it's rigid and strong for how thin and light it is. It's also relatively easy to work with because it just needs to be heated up to form into a mold. The holster is molded specifically for the 856, and it includes enough space in the molding for the front sight to clear pretty easily, as you can see up here. The material itself looks to be pretty decently thick, and the edges all the way around are rounded off, so there's no sharp edges anywhere you look. Now, for attachment, the holster uses a big foamy-style belt clip to secure it to the belt, and it's got a nice little hook at the bottom there so that it doesn't pull up off of your belt. The clip itself isn't the nicest one I've ever seen. As you can see, it's already showing some wear from just a little bit of use. But I was very pleasantly surprised to see how much adjustment is built into the design of this holster. It's got plenty of cant adjustment in both directions and even ride height adjustment depending on where you set the clip. On the other hand, the Sticky Holster's MD5 Medium utilizes a soft shell design approach. Instead of using a rigid material like Kydex, the Sticky Holster is made from a proprietary blend of synthetic soft materials. It has a sticky outer layer that clings to clothing or skin, and the inside material is smoother and less sticky to promote holstering and unholstering. Also, since it's a soft holster, it's not designed for a specific firearm. Sizing here is done by finding your application on this chart that Sticky provides and then ordering the corresponding holster. They've also got a quick reference chart here with their sizes and examples of weapons that will fit those sizes. As you can see here, the MD5 fits snubby revolvers such as J-frames up to a 2.125 inch barrel, which perfectly describes R856. The whole gun's holster has a dedicated retention system that locks in right around the trigger guard. It's also user adjustable with this screw right here. Whole Guns calls this posi click, and they say that the posi click retention offers an audible and tactile click when the firearm is fully seated, giving the user some added peace of mind knowing that the retention is engaged. In practice though, as you can see, there's not really much of a click. I can slide this in and out, and it's really just the friction holding this in. When you slide this in, you can feel the tension increase around the trigger guard, but there's never any actual click. Conversely, the Sticky Holsters MD5 offers no retention. The only thing holding your gun in is the friction of the holster body against the gun here. It just slides in and out. The sticky outside of the holster creates more friction against the pocket or the belt or the clothing that the holster is carried in. And since the friction out here is greater than the friction between the holster and the gun, when you go to draw, it just pulls out. So I tested the whole gun's holster in both appendix carry, which is my preferred method, as well as a four o'clock inside the waistband carry. In both positions, I found that there's enough adjustment in the clip to make the holster sit where I wanted it to, and the clip anchored the holster to my belt really well. The clip is mounted nice and high on the holster, so it allows the gun to sit as low as possible in the waistband, 
And again, that's aided by the ride height adjustment that you can dial up or down depending on your body and your pants. Drawing was really easy in both scenarios as the holster lets the grip of the 856 sit out far enough to get a good grip on it even when it's inside the waistband. Reholstering is also very easy due to the hard shell design and also due to the fact that the opening of the holster is nice and wide to accommodate the cylinder of the gun. The Sticky Holster MD5 is designed to be carried in a number of ways, kind of by design, and I tested all the ways that I could think of. First in a pocket carry setup with my pants, and then in a pocket in a winter jacket, and then finally in an inside the waistband setup, and in all the cases I was able to draw comfortably and quickly. Reholstering however is a bit of an exercise since the holster is soft sided. I found myself having to kind of open the mouth of the holster with one hand and slide the gun in with the other hand in order to reholster. So now for likes and dislikes for the whole gun's Kydex holster. First off, I like the general construction of the holster. A lot of holsters at this price point are made of like very thin Kydex, but this one is actually a little bit thicker than that. Additionally, the holster has, again, as I mentioned, a really good amount of cant and ride height adjustment available. So it can flex from an appendix carry to a strong side carry to a four or six o'clock carry equally well. The holster is nice and secure with retention that's secure enough to hold this in place, even without that posi click locking into the trigger guard. And the adjustable retention is a nice added feature at this price. Now, as usual on this channel, nothing's perfect, and this holster being a $20 holster is no exception. As far as dislikes go, the main dislike that I have is kind of with the molding and cut of the holster. There's a few places where the holster is cut in not quite the right place, most notably here on the top frame of the gun, and a little bit here on the trigger guard. Now, as a result, as you can see, it's causing some rubbage on the frame there and on the trigger guard there. And combined with the, let's say, less than fantastic finish that Taurus puts on these frames, you can see that it's already causing some rubbage even with just going in and out a couple times. The second dislike is that retention system. Now, it doesn't really bother me too, too much since, as I mentioned, the retention is enough to hold this in place even without that click, but it's advertised with posi click retention right in the title of the product. So the fact that there is no click when you holster and unholster is definitely a dislike here. I think that a little more care in the cutting and finishing of the holster in general would solve both of these problems. Additionally, I wouldn't mind seeing a holster claw or wing included for appendix users like me. Again, though, at the price point, 20 bucks, this can be overlooked a good bit. Meanwhile, the Sticky MD5 is very good at filling a very specific use case for carrying. That's to say it's very good at pocket carry. The Sticky material makes drawing from a pocket pretty easy in basically every scenario. The holster covers the trigger guard very well, and the ability to use this with other similarly sized guns is definitely a value adder for what you're paying. It's made from really good quality materials, and I can see this thing lasting a very long time, even with daily use. Last, the holster did away with any printing issues inside a pocket. Now, you could tell there was definitely something in my pocket because you've got this big bump there, but there was definitely no gun shape to it that you could discern. As far as dislikes go, the main one I have is with the soft-sided opening of the holster. Since there's nothing rigid here to keep the mouth open, some extra care needs to be taken when holstering and reholstering. Most of the time, again, I found myself having to squeeze the holster to get it to open up because it would be it would be in my pocket like this, and I would need to squeeze it to get it to open up so I could reholster the gun. Additionally, there were a few times when drawing that the holster would fall completely out of my pocket after I had drawn the gun out, and I'd have to go and pick it up reholster it with the holster in my hand, and then reset this whole rig into my pocket. Overall, out of the two, I think that the whole gun's holster is the better buy here, as I think it's a bit more secure way to carry. It does make some compromises in fit and finish, but for the money, those shortcomings are easily overlooked. Meanwhile, the Sticky MD5 is great if you specifically plan to carry in a pocket, as long as you're aware of the shortcomings that are inherent in the soft-sided design of this holster. So, those are my thoughts on both of these budget Amazon holsters. Both the Whole Guns IWB Kydex and the Sticky MD5 have their unique strengths. The Whole Guns holster offers a very good fit, an adjustable cant, and a posi click retention for a really confident carrying experience. Meanwhile, the Sticky holster provides a more comfortable and versatile option if you've got multiple weapons that you're trying to run. Now, up next on the channel is the first impressions video on that Canik Mete SFX. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you're subscribed. Throw me a like or a comment if you like what I'm doing here, since it really helps with the algorithm. Also, don't forget to share this video with anyone you know that's looking for a holster for the 856. That's all I've got for you this time, so until next time, stay safe.